Today's video is an absolute action-packed banger. Okay, so that might be slightly overreaching. Rain in the enthusiasm and you're beginning to sound like a YouTuber and nobody needs another one of them. But there is a lot going on. I visit another golf course that is off the beaten track. I'll be showing you every single shot of my round and I'll also reveal a golf club I discovered in the last week that has my mind blown. Once again, a sensationalist comment that will undoubtedly lead to a clickbait title. Apologies in advance. I don't think I've ever hit an iron as far as I'm hitting this. I just can't believe how far this put all goes off this club. So over the next few days, I'll be staying on site in a lodge at Bentham Golf Club, where I'll be finding out if this club is a real game changer or was it just a one-off. You see, for the last few years, I've suggested most golfers leave a certain club out of the golf bag. And today I'm recommending you consider putting that club in your golf bag. That's right. Golf YouTube at its finest. Right, so checked into the lodge, which looks really nice. Have a closer look at that a bit later on. I've never been to this part of the world that much, to be honest with you. It was set behind uh, the sort of backdrop of the Lake District and the three peaks of Yorkshire, as I understand. But what I am seeing is a great setup in terms of driving range, practice facilities, and the first hole, which is a bit straight down. I've had a look around this place last night. Looks a real interesting layout, and uh, I will be revealing not only what I score, but also the new club in the bag, which was on fire again yesterday, and a real sort of, uh, well, change round in what I've said in previous. That's, that's in the middle of the green. Ah, the irony, I hit one good shot and it was the most difficult shot out of the par five and we managed to walk away with a par. Golf's a weird old game. So, so far, um, what you've seen is um, a couple of bogeys hitting the ball reasonably well. Not as good as I was hitting it yesterday, but still trying to work on getting the ball in the hole in as few shots as possible, which sounds obvious, but it just takes a little bit more concentration than, uh, than I normally put together in this game. But I've got to say, it's a bit dull and it's a bit overcast, but the views are absolutely stunning here at Bentham and the uh, condition of the course is superb. Let's see what lies around the corner. That was actually the first glimpse of my new secret weapon. So there's a bit of a backstory in today's video and it's all about me backtracking 
in terms of uh, what I've said over the last few years because I've encouraged every average golfer to take long irons out the bag and replace them with either hybrids or lofted fairway woods because genuinely I've just really not seen the point in most people trying to use long irons. They struggle in terms of generating enough club head speed to get the sort of carry distances uh, that they need to with that weak loft that you see in the irons. But I'm about to backtrack hugely because a few weeks ago I tried a new club purely by chance. I cannot miss hit this thing. It's going for miles and as you know, I don't swing the club that fast either. So well, some great places to just stop off and uh, take in. Well, smell the roses. There you go, Pat Ruddy again. Um, amazing views up here, like I said. But well, back to the story of long irons in the bag and why I've been off them for so long and why I'm back on them. I tried a four iron from PXG's new Gen 7 lineup, but it's no ordinary four iron because it is from their XP range, which is essentially what they would class as their game improvement model within that Gen 7 lineup. And as soon as I hit it the very first ball, I was blown away just by how fast the ball speed was, but how high the launch angle was, all the kind of attributes you're looking from for, for, for a club at the long end of the bag where most golfers struggle. I've carried on using it for probably four rounds now. Anytime I get to a tight par four or any excuse I've got really, I'm grabbing for it and I'm hitting it. And that comes from somebody who has always been a preferred long iron player over hybrids, but got forced down the hybrid and fairway route down to the lack of options for me um, because of the lack of speed or reduced speed over the years. So to be able to put this thing in a bag has been an absolute revelation. One thing that makes me laugh a bit as well is when you think about it, if that was called a driving iron, people would be calling me a bit of a player. But because it's a game improvement four iron, it's frowned upon and people don't go near it. I'd fall into that category as well in the past, um, but not anymore. That thing is as hot as it gets and uh, I'm so tempted to mix up my bag with six, five, four iron with these kind of things in it. But anyway, we'll crack on at Bentham Golf Club and uh, we're doing all right, we're scoring okay. Another thing where this has been so good, particularly in this course, has been a lot of uh, tight par fours. In and around, well, we're playing 16, stroke index two off the yellows, it's only 340 yards. So I found a lot where the idea would be obviously to try and find a fairway. Having a go-to club that you can hit around the sort of, this thing's going out at about 210, 210 carry um, and rolling out for miles on a firm fairway. That's another great option to have. We all know the kind of um, the issues with the hybrids is kind of always a struggle with not turning them over to the left. Um, a fairway with, don't get me wrong, is uh, still very much a viable option. I'm not flipping sides altogether, but I'm just saying that if you're, uh, if you're a preferred iron player, then this is definitely an option for people to consider. Uh, this looks a really good stroke index too. And uh, well, we'll see if we can find the short stuff. Oh. Right, quick stop off and chat about Bentham Golf Club first of all. Another off the beaten track, absolute classic because uh, I must admit I've not heard a great deal about this place in the past and uh, the whole setup with the lodge accommodation, really friendly clubhouse. To be fair, everybody we've met has been uh, very accommodating indeed. The lodge is excellent to stop in. Uh, we're in a two bedroom lodge and uh, yeah, just real good place to stay. And how good is it to just uh, roll out after breakfast and uh, get yourself on the first tee. And as you can see, I mean, what is probably slightly surprising for me is just how good condition the golf course is in. The sort of shape and variations in a lot of the holes as well make it uh, an interesting course to play, but super place for either day out, couples golf, society golf. Um, with with some decent quality golf course in front of you and the views I've mentioned them cameras ready you should be seeing loads anyway
yes. Ah, it's not bad. It might be a bit dark and miserable, but it is, of course, time for photo of the week. So don't forget Andy or Tracy in the comment section down below. opportune moment to talk about uh, well first of all how good is that hole that's my favorite hole on the golf course by the way um yeah 16th that stroke two anyway back to kind of what i've been doing over the last few weeks and that is trying to make an effort to play better golf it's as simple as that and from last week's video which a lot of people got involved with in trying to highlight in where i was going or where I, areas where i could prove improve what i've tried to do is um one, be a little bit more aggressive off the tee. So I was always dipping into forward to try and play sort of a bit more cautious golf. And the other thing is, is to sort of attempt at least to go for more pins where it's, um, where there's an opportunity. And again, what I was doing is always sort of center of the green. And I feel like it's definitely helped. Uh, the short game area is always something they're gonna to have to keep on practicing on. And in between all that, it's my wedge game, which I say wedge game from 100 yards in, maybe 120 yards in, where I also need to kind of liven up a bit. So they're the areas that I'm focusing on. I just wondered from your perspective, what is it that's on your agenda right now and uh, where are you trying to improve? Anyway, we'll walk on to the next, but how nice is that? Come back to my favorite spec to end the video uh, that's some backdrop you know and uh, i hope you've enjoyed what we've shown from bentham golf club um yeah absolutely fantastic and uh i'll finish by yeah with my favorite new club in the bag the four iron xp game improvement club and forget everything i've said in the past and everybody now needs to try a long iron replacement in the long end of the bag and uh, i think it could be something that you're really impressed with Anyway, all done. We'll be back on our travels and uh, well, I'll see you again next Monday somewhere off the beaten track.